No special intro, just straight to the point. This is the quadcopter and I'm going to show you how I built it. This drone can be used for either racing or freestyle. Currently it is my favorite. It runs on a 4S LiPo battery with a high discharge rate. The list of parts will be in the description. Krishnamurti says to people, now look, there is nothing you can do to be liberated. Because all your efforts in the direction of liberation are phony. They are based on your desire to boost and continue your ego. And that will never lead to liberation. All you can do, he says, is to be aware of yourself Here's how the Get RC Mark II came in the box. Without judgment. I started by assembling it. See what is. But then, if you can do that, you have no further problem. But if you try to do it, you're in the same mess all over again. Gurdjieff played the same game in a different way. He said, the most important thing is self-remembering. Always at every moment be aware of what you're doing. Watch yourself constantly and never, never be absent-minded. So all day, when you know you pick up the piece of paper, you realize, I am picking up this piece of paper. Zen, how to use a sword. The first thing that the teacher says to the student is, if you're going to be a good soldier, you've got to be alert constantly, because you never know where the attack's going to come from. be simply awake and relax and then all your nerve ends are working so in the same way the mind when it is in the proper state is ready to respond in any direction from which the attack may come
T60 connector and adding length to my capacitor so I could secure it to the frame. Next I'll begin wiring the ESCs. I'll fast forward once I finish the first one. It doesn't matter the wiring order, you can change the motor direction in BL Heli. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have secured the capacitor to the frame using a zip tie and added these M3 nuts along with a rubber o-ring for vibration dampening. This is the finished product. A few things to note on the F7 version 2. Some of you may have seen one of Project Blue Falcon's videos where he pointed out that the first pin is the TX1, the second being RX1. On the flight controller itself, it is barely printed on here, so be careful. Some people may get that confused and fry a receiver. So our third pin up being power is currently not getting anything. We need to decide whether we want 5 volts or 3 volts to power our receiver by jumping with the middle pin. In my case, I'm going to be using 5 volts, so I'm going to jump the first two. You can use spare wire, I'm just going to lay some solder across. Do not solder all three together, something will fry. Same goes with our RAM pin. We need to decide whether we want 5 volts to power our VTX in camera or the full voltage of the battery by jumping with the middle pin. Once you jump the two, the RAM pins will be producing that. Same with these. On the RXSR, you have your ground power signal and SBUS slash CPPM wires. The last wire is an SBUS N for if you're using a slave receiver. In my case, I'm not, so I can take that out by lifting the pin. I have decided to put my flight controller with the USB facing out. Later on, we can tell beta flight which way our board is facing. Now I'm going to decide where I would like to place my receiver on the quadcopter and cut the wires to the length I need. So I have my ground power and signal wires cut to reach these pins and my S bus to reach the RC S bus pin, which is using UART number two. Now I'm going to strip and tin the wires and get them ready. In this clip, disregard the yellow S-port wire placement. It's supposed to go one down on TX1. Before soldering my receiver wires, I used my multimeter to test my bridge and make sure I was getting about 5 volts. Now it's time to test it out. And it works. A convenient part in building this stack the Typhoon 32 comes with this JST-SH 1.0 8-pin connector that happens to fit in the F7 flight controller. Not only does it fit, the connections are in the same order. VBAT current ground NC, VBAT current ground NC, then the motors. Because the RAM pins on the version 2 are filtered, I'm going to be using these to power my VTX and camera it will give us cleaner video. Also, because my VTX and camera can be powered from the full voltage of the battery, I will be bridging these two together, VBAT and RAM, giving us the full voltage of the battery on these two RAM pins. I have went ahead and secured my camera to the top half of the frame 
with my VTX, I have lightly coated the backside with glue and cable ties hold it in place. With our camera and VTX wires, because we are soldering them directly to the board, we do not need these connectors. So we can cut these off and to the length that we need. For my VTX, I have wired ground, RAM, and video out. I have the audio and ground left. I'm about to do that now. So I've put my smart audio on TX3. So in beta flight, we will enter that in the peripherals. With the camera harness, I'm going to be putting the power, ground, and video in alongside where I put the VTX. With the current sensor, you can put that anywhere you're getting the full voltage of the battery. I'm putting mine on this VBAT pin right here. Be sure not to put it on any 5 volt or 12 volt pins because you want to get an accurate reading. And I'm about to show you what that looks like. Now I'm going to add the wires to my Maytek LED and buzzer. Here's a diagram. With FC mode, we can go into beta flight and control our LEDs. This is how mine looks. And this build is complete. I added heat shrink to my LED wires and protected my receiver with liquid electrical tape, then secured it to the frame. Remember, carbon fiber is conductive and will fry components. I put everything together then went straight into beta flight. I flashed the latest version to my F7, did a motor check, calibrated the motors in BL Heli 32, and from top to bottom adjusted the settings to my liking. The VTX and camera are working. Remember the smart audio we put on TX3? That allows us to access the on-screen display VTX menu by centering the throttle stick, yawing left, and pitching forward. We can control everything, VTX channel, strength, our LEDs, even PID tuning. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more drone related content.